You know, when Matthew Weaver says that something is coming for the skyline to a certain point, meaning if this is coming to the skyline and this is not, you better believe him because he is an award-winning designer and is the VP of design for Nissan in Europe. We all know that the Nissan R35, if you want to call it the Skyline R35, the GTR, whatever it is, name you got for it. We know what car we're talking about. It's leaving and it's done. The Nissan Skyline R35 is pretty much done. The end of the road, actually two models came out, which was the Takumi edition and the other one that came out um, along with that one. And those are pretty much the final edition. Well, Skyline is not dead. The GTR is obviously not dead. The R36 will be coming back. So Matthew Weaver had a few things to say. And one of the things he said was keyword Godzilla, meaning Godzilla will be a big inspiration for the next Nissan R36, if you want to call it that or whatever name they put on it. But the whole Skyline name and the whole idea of the Skyline is not dead. He mentioned it. Now, one of the few key things that he said on an article that we have was that for the next skyline for when it comes out they want to know or they want to they pretty much they want the consumer to know that they have a skyline most likely the next skyline is going to be an ev there's rumors the word around town is that most likely it's going to be an ev or an electric skyline i mean we do have this picture up here of this amazing looking car that looks almost like a batmobile if you would have put this on a batman movie i would have told you that that was a batmobile but their word around town is that most likely is going to come back as an ev but that the word Godzilla will be put, will be stamped, will be there in order for the consumer to know that they have a skyline. So in a full interview, he op he openly admitted that the projects like GTR, it's pretty much it's the important. It's important to put familiar details throughout the car in order for the GTR consumer and fan base to know that they still have a GTR. He goes on to say the thing with the GTR is that it's got performance on each arrow, arrow, speed and performance. And that pretty much dictates the vehicle. It's not here to win a beauty contest or any of that stuff. It's here to be a functional machine. And he says that he remembers working on one that he spent nights and days in a wind tunnel and that he's never done anything like that. So that those were the things that shape up for the next car. Now, we do have a picture up here. We see it up here that says Nissan. I mean, this car looks amazing. This car looks something out of this world. This is like if the aliens came from another world and they had a Nissan, this would be it. Now, he also has that on top of that, there will be Godzilla elements that you can expect on the next R36 or Skyline or whatever you want to call it. Some speed, some downforce, some corner ability and much more. But that don't be surprised if you get to see some round tail lights in the end and some sharp slanted headlights in the front as long as they play functionality with the car now pretty much what he wants to do is and i understand maybe not what he wants to do but maybe what nissan is going for and i understand the nissan r35 is dead the turbo big monster fast all-wheel drive horsepower only gas no electric is dead. it's no longer going to be made we have the takumi edition we have the other edition which was the final edition i believe and now this one the r36 and we're headed into the era of ev now i mean now we got the corvette zero one that just made a debut with 1064 horsepower and by god we needed that and we were screaming for that but we are moving towards the road of ev and most likely i would probably bet that 99.9 percent .9 the next nissan skyline will be an ev or will have some sort of hybrid in it together if they don't really want to lose the whole gas uh thing to to the aspect of the nissan skyline now what are some of the things that make the skyline the skyline makes is all-wheel drive turbo big horsepower fast well that one cracked right there big horsepower fast doing quarter mile turning at the track an all-around well-maintained vehicle well-functional vehicle when you add the aspect of the ev now you got to emphasize on the word godzilla and you got to emphasize on the small details that tell the consumer hey you're not driving an ev i mean you are but you have a skyline you know it's kind of like hey you know we're not we're going to give you this corvette that runs electric but we're gonna give you everything that hot rod looks like the crazy paint job the exhaust kind of like the daytona from the from from dodge it's like hey you don't have a gas power anymore but we're gonna give you a speaker that sounds like exhaust we're gonna give you the looks that looks like a hot rod we're gonna give you the paint job and that's just not the deal at least for from what i see or from what you could read on this on this uh, uh interview that he pretty much said a few words and this was towards to top gear is that they're gonna add those godzilla elements those 
r32 r33 r34 those skyline element to the next one and hoping that the consumer says hey i'm still on the gtr maybe while driving an ev now if you're gonna make a 15 horsepower ev streetwise street drivable you know daily driver nissan gtr you're gonna have a lot of love for that car i'm not gonna lie to you a lot of people want fast and they and they want it big but the enthusiast at the bottom of the heart to my opinion wants gas wants all-wheel drive wants turbo wants power and that's what i think chevy executed with the consumers in the in, in the corvette hey we're gonna give you the ev for you ev fans but bottom line is that Corvette is a gas power monster and we got it and that's a zero one. So those are the few kind of things that have come out out of the woodwork for the next Nissan GTR. Obviously, we still got some time before that act gets unveiled or actually any other information comes out of that. But if the VP, Matthew Weaver, who's actually the VP of design for Nissan Europe, tells you that there's going to be some Godzilla elements to it, that we need to keep the familiarized fan base knowing that it's a GTR while you're behind the wheel, you best believe the man that that's what you're going to get. Anyways, if you boys are enjoying the content, I'll see you on the next one. Your boy is out.